what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we finally got a first look at what we can expect not the actual show but we got a first teaser our first teaser drop today of the new child's play chucky tv series that is going to be premiering on not only the sci-fi network as we found out uh many years ago or last year rather but now we know for a fact that the movie or that the series rather the chucky tv series will also premiere on the usa network now if i'm not mistaken this is very similar to what the purge tv series did i believe the purge tv series came on the sci-fi network as well as the usa network uh don mancini shared our first we got our first teaser here today courtesy of don mancini he shared this teaser he teased it yesterday with a post up on his facebook uh with a photo of a pool of blood with chucky chucky did it written written in that pool of blood or splatter of blood and then find it just the caption of the photo was find out what chucky did tomorrow now of course it's it's thursday he posted that wednesday we now find out what chucky did and it's just a simple teaser of the chucky tv series and it looks amazing i am very excited about it i loved everything i saw from it I did notice a few things that I want to talk about, though, from the teaser in the teaser. It does look like that we'll we'll be revisiting the toy store where Charles Lee Ray died in the original movie in the opening uh, where he was being chased by Detective Norris. It looks like we'll be going back to that toy store, possibly, or maybe this whole teaser is encompassing. I'm just going off of assumptions from the teaser. Maybe this teaser is just was designed and crafted in a way to feature some notable aspects of the franchise, the film series, because we know that the TV series will be continuing and will be in line of continuity from the first seven Chucky films that we already have canon per the original continuity, not the remake that MGM did last year. Uh, so we know that this TV series will be picking up from where Cult of Chucky left off. And then we also know that we can be expecting Don Mancini to work on a couple other Chucky films down the road. He has made it clear that he would that he wants to do at least two more Chucky movies. He shared that bit of news last year sometime. So, but going back to what I wanted to talk about, it looks like this teaser, it either is encompassing several key factors that played into the previous installments in the film franchise, or these images and these this scenery is here for a reason, because it looks like the backdrop is from the same toy store that Charles Lee Ray was gunned down in from the 1988 original movie. So we could be revisiting that. This also is a little bit of a nudge, a nod to the fact that we already know we'll be diving into the backstory of Charles Lee Ray a bit. And I also believe during a watch party where for during the original film, Don Mancini did reveal tidbits of us finding out what goes on when Chucky actually closes his closes his eyes. So looks like we might be getting to see if Chucky dreams or not and what those dreams look like. I'm not really looking forward to that particular element. I don't really want to have Chucky turned into we, we know this is a person who has a past, but when you take the time to well actually you know what at, at this point it's a tv series the only i i can appreciate what's gonna probably happen but i don't want it to get to a point where i now feel some type of sympathy for charles lee ray at, but at the same time there's nothing wrong with feeling sympathetic for someone who is there's nothing wrong with feeling sympathetic towards someone once you finally understand why they are the way they are case in point the film joker so with the backstory of charles lee ray being dug knowing that we're going to dig into that a bit more we're going to find out some things possibly about his childhood uh we might be dealing with a situation where the character of charles lee ray and chucky himself this will probably be the best development of that character we've gotten that the films couldn't give us because of the runtime but with a tv series you have the chance to go over multiple seasons multiple episodes 60 minute run times or possibly sure we don't know how long the series and the episodes are going to be but with the tv series you just have more time to develop characters get to know them a little bit better understand them a bit better because as far as the film series is concerned charles lee ray chucky straight killer former lakeshore strangler he deserved what he got not to say that anything that we find out about his past is justifying his actions, but it'll be nice to see how his backstory will affect how a lot of the fan base views this character and if there will be any type of sympathy for Chucky. You can have some sympathy for, of course, what led to him becoming a killer because I found that we might get a tragic backstory for Charles Lee Ray. So I'm really excited to excited about that. I want to go back over the brief 
synopsis for the TV series that we got a few months ago as well from uh, sci-fi is sci-fi sci-fi in that initial plot synopsis that we got this the series is going to be following a vintage it's going to be the synopsis reads from sci-fi after a vintage chucky doll turns up at a suburban yard sale an idyllic Amer an idyllic american town is thrown into chaos as a series of horrifying murders begin to expose the town's hypocrisies and secrets meanwhile the arrival of enemies and allies from chucky's past threatens to expose the truth behind the killings as well as the demon's untold origins as a seemingly ordinary child who somehow became this notorious monster now that's one thing that i feel was left out of the other synopsis that we got i don't i don't believe it did mention that first synopsis that we got released a few a few months ago a while back i don't think it mentioned anything about us going into uh a seemingly ordinary child it, i don't believe it described us finding out that charles lee ray was a ordinary child he seemed to be an ordinary child and he got turned into this notorious monster the lakeshore strangler who ended up becoming this killer doll that we now have i'm really excited to see what that is going to entail uh only thing again i'm a bit fearful of is finding out too much about the character and then seeing him in a different different light but at the same time there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with diving into and understanding the mind of a serial killer and understanding why someone might turn to a life of crime understanding what might have led to them becoming a lakeshore strangler <laughs> Uh, a serial killer because when you go into those things you're kind of addressing the elephant in the room because my honest opinion on on when it comes to people who have committed crimes me personally i'm not a big fan of how we kind of just don't care as a society we don't really care too much about what that person went through and how they in ultimately ended up here you don't just get up one day and decide that Oh, hey, I'm going to be a killer. I'm going to go out and I'm just going to torture a bunch of people. I'm going to strangle a bunch of people. Something happened to you. And uh, understanding what brought people to turn to a life of crime, uh, I feel like that would be a big, big thing for us as members of society. And I'm not talking about a TV series. I'm just talking about sh sh direct life, straight life. Understanding what makes certain people tick, especially people who are doing murders understanding what makes them tick what happened to them in the past that might have led to this that's a key thing that we need to focus on more in society because what we do we just like to paint them as the bad guy and sure they are the bad guy but what created the bad guy what did this person go through this person's life still matters this person's life still matters it's not excusing what they've done but you don't like like again i refuse to believe that you just wake up and you just say i'm gonna go shoot this person i'm gonna go strangle this person i'm gonna go uh strangle a bunch of people get gunned down in a toy store and then now i'm a killer dog he did not just grow up one day and decide he's gonna be a killer and it seems like we're gonna get some details regarding that and his unfortunate childhood it sounds like he'll be we'll be finding out some details that will bridge us into how he got into the life of crime which ultimately led him to become the notorious lakeshore strangler and how he ultimately ended up in the doll's body so i think that's a hint as to why we see the toy store from the original movie in this teaser they're also playing that that fun that fun music that i love from child's play 2 the child's play 2 theme i love that music uh child's play 2 in my opinion has the best soundtrack out of the series so i think that's a nod to the fact that we could be getting kyle back uh played by we could be getting kyle uh andy's stepsister back i know jennifer tilly's supposed to be back i know fiona dorf supposed to be back brad dorf of course will be reprising his role as chucky another thing i wanted to talk about briefly is uh a, the post don mancini put up wednesday night teasing this teaser that came out today bella thorne commented on it now a lot of people are speculating now that they think bella thorne could be appearing in the series as one of his one of chucky's uh children either glinda or glenn uh, of course she would be glinda she's a she's a woman <laughs> but i think that would be very interesting a very interesting casting decision i could see her uh being casted as glinda i could see her fulfilling that role a lot of people speculate that we could see her as a young tiffany uh, just speculation again because she commented on that post so and Don Mancini started following her but that's nothing official I just wanted to touch on that briefly but if you guys have seen this teaser let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications that you never miss a video in the description I have links on my social media accounts my Facebook Twitter and Instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys I will see you in the next video